Now, imagine you're a newly appointed prime minister. You've only been in power for three weeks. You've guided the nation through the death of Her Majesty the Queen. People rather like your unfussy style. And then... And then your Chancellor delivers a budget which spooks the market, sends them into orbit, basically. Um, You don't appear to reassure the markets. Your Chancellor doesn't appear to reassure the markets. A couple of junior ministers are sent out to do it. doesn't really work. And then the leader of the opposition makes the speech of his life. It's hailed by commentators of all political colours and persuasions. Even that Ian Dale on LBC rather liked it. What is going on? And then your world falls apart. You do a series of interviews, calamitous interviews, with local radio presenters who you underestimate. You think, oh, they're just local radio. They don't. They they, they won't be as hard as that Nick Ferrari on me, will they? Well, they were, weren't they? And then, and then, an opinion poll is published which shows a thirty-three point Labour lead. Something that Tony Blair did achieve in his heyday, although on election day it was only 13%, but he got a majority of 179 seats. And you would get, if, you, if that was translated into a general election, the Conservative Party, under your leadership, would be reduced to a rump of 69 seats. And then you've got your party conference to look forward to, which starts on Sunday. Things can only get better, eh? <laughs>